have it done. Damien got his tongue pierced. Him and I think one of his friends went and got something pierced. But you guys tongue pierced. And Damien, I wouldn't say he had a lisp, mm-hmm. but he had something. Yeah. His one lip was, had this like, blah part underneath. <laughs> and just a, a deer in his voice. And to hear him say, Dana. We'd say Dana, and I always made him say, Aunt Dana. Aunt Dana. I always pushed that. Aunt Dana. <laughs> Aunt Dana. Aunt Dana. And uh, so he got his tongue pierced. And his tongue was so swollen, he couldn't talk. <laughs> I'm going up, I'm going up. And I, even when the swelling went down, he didn't, he couldn't talk. He just couldn't do it. I don't know if it wasn't back far enough or what, but it just didn't work. And when he was trying to talk, he could, you know. <laughs> so it, one night, apparently, in the middle of the night, he swallowed it. And I said, so, oh, you took it out. And he's like, no, no, I swallowed it. He says, but... He didn't get paid for another week, week and a half, and he was going to go buy a new tongue, a tongue ring. I knew it would close up in that time. Didn't say shit. <laughs> did not say shit. He did not need to have this tongue. I can see I just kept telling him, just dig through. Just find that one and boil it up. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> You'll hear the clink. Yeah, do you'll hear the clink. Just listen. Dig, dig through your little you know, and you know, it. Find it. I get one into it, but so I never said nothing, and well, I never put it back in again. Did. Was he pissed off? I don't remember, but I can see him making people laugh. He likes yeah. to probably make people laugh. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he liked to piss people off too. Mm-hmm. He yes. likes to get it going. He likes a little bit of controversy. Mm-hmm. Yep, he likes a little bit of both. But mm-hmm. I'll think of some more things. And yeah. if I can find up that video, if I can find a way to play it and so. stuff, yeah, I'd, I'd like you to see it. I'd love to see it. I saw so. one and I'm going to stop it. From Your Daily Local and Two Moms Media and Warren PA, this is Smoke, The Disappearance of Damien Sharp. We're your hosts, Brian Hagberg and Stacy Gross. Damien Sharp graduated from Warren Area High School in 1998. There, his reputation was multifaceted. He was a goth kid, but also a wrestler. When he graduated, he went to the Army, the 10th Mountain Division, and served in Bosnia before returning home. Once he got home, people in the town where he lived, the city of Warren, Pennsylvania, with a population of around 9,000, knew him as the guy who wore all black and had some kind of affinity for a rubber chicken. That rubber chicken has run like a thread through the past year of my life, which is constructed mostly of scraps of stories about Damien from more people than I can name off the top of my head. Almost all of them had a rubber chicken story. He'd hang it off his backpack. The signature black backpack featured in his missing poster. He'd wrap it around his shoulders like a mink stole. He'd have it on him a lot of the time, people say, because it got a reaction. Damien was all about a reaction. He'd even walk that rubber chicken down the road on a wire leash, like a dog, his aunt Dana Kibbe told me a few weeks ago. Dana and I connected last June and have been in contact since. When I sat down to record her, it was almost a formality. We met at a local coffee shop, and she just started talking about Damien as if we'd met through him or something. I mean, we kind of did. Until we met last June... I could not have pointed Dana out on the street. I knew her name. Even before the podcast, I'd read what was easy to find on and off through the years. The names alone were what stuck with me, mostly because they felt fraudulent, like they weren't really connected to anyone. I spent probably an entire weekend this winter just staring at the pages of newspaper articles laid out on my table in patchwork, finding myself more drawn to the pictures than the words. Janine, Damien's mom, holding a portrait of Damien as a soldier. Janine telling a crowd about Damien after she became a caseworker for the CUE. The family meeting with other families of other missing people in the region. Divers, searchers, Damien's driver's license photo. His hair was black in that photo. The naturally blonde, naturally pale, five foot seven inch wrestler and soldier and brother and son and nephew can't be captured in a million driver's license photos or 10 million feature stories for a local newspaper. Damien was not a person you could categorize easily. His aunt told us that himself. Damien lived with his aunt Dana in seventh grade. 
already raising her own son, Thomas. She said it was awkward stepping into the role of helping Damien with his homework and trying to keep him moving forward on the fly. But Dana said, over that time, Damien started to grow into the wrestler he'd become. It was hard for me at that age to be two things at one time. It was hard for me to even acknowledge that two things could be true at one time. I could either be a hippie or a smart kid. I could either be a good kid or a bad kid. Damien fascinated me because he seemed able to be two completely opposite things at one time. Here's Dana to talk about Damien as a wrestler and how he became one as she saw it. But first, she will tell you her rubber chicken story. <laughs> 